Now, we've got the backstage vodcast in just a moment, looking at the week's entertainment. First, though, we've got more entertainment for you because we're going to be reviewing the papers here with uh, Matthew Sadlin and Pete Price, who are back again for the third time running. Suckers for punishment. Um, so let's get uh, stuck into some of your selections. Pete, kick us off yep. this uh, section. There's a story in the Daily Mail about unruly kids at dinner. So what does this yeah. tell us? Why kids grow up unruly if dad isn't home for dinner? I think this is a great story. Um, what they're saying is that the interaction between the adults, uh, the children see, the, the chemistry, the eye contact, the conversation. I was brought up when you switch the television off, sit at the dinner table and have some me time. Now with telephones I th and people stuck in their bedrooms upstairs, I think it's awful. And I think this is so... Um, mind you, a lot of kids haven't got dads. Well, that's it. I don't that think that's can be hard. hard. Yeah, which yeah. is sad. But I think the, the general idea of it is to actually have a meal, to put your phone down, to have some me time, to have some conversation like we're doing now, but having a meal. And I think it's a great, great idea. And if also I would bring back Sundays, I'd close down a Sunday and have a day of not for religion, for just to be together. When you say close down, you mean watch the shop shouldn't open? Yes, this. everything yeah. uh, tied up with this. I wouldn't go that far, but in a world of technology and screens and remoteness, I mean, you guys were doing the papers remotely for a long time through necessity in the pandemic, but it's great to be back in the studio, eye contact, being in the same room as someone. If you're lucky enough to have a mum and a dad or two dads or two mums or whatever it is, if they can all get round the table together, fantastic. When I was growing up, my dad went out to work, my mum gave up her work, we were very grateful to look after us. He would, though, although he wasn't able to be back for tea time, mm. he'd, he'd definitely play some role in our evenings, and that was really, really important. I, I think that's right, isn't it? Because, again, we might spend an evening watching television on our phones while we're eating supper, and you lose that human interaction. That's yeah. the thing, and isn't it? And I'm at the age where it was just television. There was no phones or anything. Yes. But my mum switched the telly off. We yeah. will have an hour together. And no that's phones, no phones yeah. at the dinner table. No. Yeah, OK. We've got no phones here either. Very well behaved. Well done. No distractions. Um, let's move on, Matthew. Uh, yes. And a story that's really um, captured people's imagination, but also really saddened people. And, and that, this is the cutting down of the sycamore tree in Northumberland. Uh, and this was the, uh, the sycamore tree at the gap in, in, in the Hadrian's Wall in Northumberland. I haven't been to Northumberland very often. What I do know of it is it's an absolutely ravishingly beautiful county. I hadn't heard of this tree, but the outpouring of love for it has been extraordinary. And I think it's probably partly because lots of people had heard of it and lots of people have visited it, but also because I think trees strike a chord with us. We know how important they are for the environment. But also, I'd suggest that they humanise us. They've been here, many of them, for far, far longer than we have. They've endured. They mark our landscapes. And I think they make our world a, a better place. And I think the outpouring here shows that on some sort of fundamental level, we as human beings really love our yeah. trees. It's going to be interesting to see why this tree has been cut down. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see who's behind the boy, because he hasn't done well, that. Well, it's so we professional. Don't we, don't, we, we don't know. No, right, we can't we? speculate, but it's going to be an interesting story. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but as, you, as we say, we, we, we don't know yet. No. But yeah, but lots of people feel really, really uh, sad about it. It may grow again, though. That's the point of this. Yeah, they're talking story, about it, aren't they? they? Yes. They're Although that they're there was a wonderful hazel tree, nothing like this tree that I know well in Wales. That was cut down accidentally. And yes, it's sort of reshooted, but it hasn't regained its old shape. No, that's right. Um, let's uh, take us to the Daily Mirror, would you, Pete? Because uh, <laughs> we're here focusing on um, the Jimmy Savile drama that's been. It's there. the new drama that's coming out. Um, and Steve Coogan says it's the creepiest role yet that's uh, bringing back these awful memories of this sex predator. It's a four-part drama. I wonder why we've got it. I really, truly wonder why we've got it. And by the way, Steve Coogan looks like him, but it, it, it just, it was a vile time. Why are we, why do we have to watch these dreadful dramas? And it is going to be watched, and that's what upsets me most. Do you think that in some ways, if you remember terrible things, people learn lessons and it, and it helps people guard against it happening again? Or what, what's your view on it? I think it's really important that we learn lessons. It's really, as a society, make sure that cover-ups don't happen, make sure that people can't hide in plain sight. I think that history is vital. I think we should talk about stuff. But a drama so soon, yeah. uh, when, when, when victims of this man are still alive, 
th 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 I won't be watching it. And we talked about it so much anyway. That's so true. Anyway, we are out of time. Matthew and Pete, really lovely to have we you didn't here. Do As pizza. you say, in person. We didn't do pineapple on pineapple pizza. Pineapple on pizza on the front <laughs> of the store. We didn't talk about me being a musketeer. <laughs> no. You're going to have to come back, aren't you? Anyway, we're out of time, but lovely to see you both. Thank you.